Hello operatives. So today I'm going to be giving you the solution to our second NFT giveaway puzzle. When you go to the tweet that we released on our Twitter page, you'll see that we say to crack the puzzle below and complete the Google form at the end to be in the draw. So if we view this image, there's very little going on. Seems to be some sort of Google Street View image, judging by the X in the corner here and the um, little indicators in the bottom, bottom right, and also the word Google that you can see down the bottom. But we'll come back to this image in a moment. You'll also notice in the bottom left of the image, there are these two pieces of fairly cryptic text. On the first line, it says ROT NFT GNSIS CNT. Now, a ROT is a ROT cipher, which we used in our previous puzzle, it is effectively a Caesar cipher where you shift the letters of the alphabet forward or backward by a number. Now, the number in this case is the number of Genesis NFT masks that we're releasing for the count. So, if we come to our website and we scroll down, to the NFT section, you'll see that we're doing 8,888 Genesis NFTs. Now a normal ROT cipher is generally restricted to the number of letters in the alphabet before it wraps back around, which is 26. So what you need to do is figure out how many times through the alphabet 8888 is done and what the remainder of that is. Now an easy way to do that is using something called a modulo operator, which is just a fancy way of saying when one number is divided by another, what is the remainder? So if we do 8888 modulo 26, which is the number of letters in the alphabet, we get the number 22. So what we can do now is fairly simply come to any sort of rot uh, decryption or encryptor on the website, on the internet, put that cipher text from the bottom of the image in there and pick the decrypt rot 22 section here. And you'll see that that gives us an output to a URL on our website. So defydisruptor.io slash pw hyphen ltlg hyphen 2dec. So when we open this, this gives us a password protected um, page, which is actually a PDF. So I'm just going to save this PDF to make it easier for us. So you have to try and figure out what this password is, but there's nothing to go off. But if you look at the text that we just decrypted, you'll notice that it's got the letters PW in it, which is a hint that it's got something to do with the password of the file. Now there's this text LTLG2DEC here. So that actually means latitude longitude to two decimal places. And so the password for this is actually the latitude and longitude of this image to two decimal places. So now we have to try and figure out where in the world this image is. Now looking at it, there's very little to go off. There's no signs, there's no text or anything like that. But the one thing that is recognizable in the background is these couple of buildings that seem to be fairly um, standout-ish. So obviously we're not expecting everyone to know where this is, but there is this amazing tool that Google provide called reverse image search. So if you search the entire image, it doesn't give you anything. But if you just take a screenshot of a part of the image, and put that into Google image search and we'll grab that screenshot that I just took and drop that in. Google using its machine learning will actually figure out that this is Bletchley Park. Now Bletchley Park is the location. Um, if you have a look into the, the history of it, this is where the British during World War II were able to solve the Enigma code used by the Nazis for their encryption. So if we plug that into maps, we go to Bletchley Park. If you select, you'll see that uh, in our original image, there's a lake on the left here. So if we have a look and we find roughly where we would be standing to see that, so probably around here, you can see that we've got the latitude longitude. So if we go 51, 0.99 comma negative 0 0.74 and we copy that text and we put that into this encrypted PDF that unlocks the PDF and gives us access to this next piece of text.
Once we're at this page, there seems to be some sort of cipher text here and here. Now this may look a little bit confusing, but if you take the first part of it and just run it through Google, you'll see that that actually takes us to an Enigma machine, which is the machine that was created at Bletchley Park, the image that we found earlier. So there's this wonderful website called Crypty that allows us to configure the Enigma machine and put some text in and see what it comes out as. Now, if we go back to that PDF that we had, you'll actually notice that all of these sets of letters and numbers across the top here correspond to the configuration that you can provide in the Enigma machine. So if we have a look here, M3, so that is the Enigma M3 with a reflector of UKWB, which is what we're doing here. And then we have II54. So the first rotor is rotor II in position five, ring four. The next rotor is IV179. So we go IV179. And the third rotor is V126. And then finally we have a plug board configuration, which you can see is right here. So we can just copy and paste that straight in. And finally, we wanna make sure we're doing decode, not encode. If we grab this text here and we run it through the Enigma machine, you see we get this selection of letters that appears to be a URL without symbols. So what we can do is actually just clean this up a little bit get rid of the spaces and you'll notice that that seems like our website and if you paste this URL into a new tab you get this automated reconnaissance and maintenance drone design that has been leaked by chaos and then finally in the bottom corner of the image you'll see another one of these cipher texts which will be uh, you'll recognize the start of this from the first one that we solved as part of this puzzle. Now, if we enter this text, dpplo bknio.char slash n-a-w-m-y-f o one g-n seven d-z two t a Seven. and we run that through our rot cipher that we had previously you'll notice that that gives us a google form url which when entered will take you to our final giveaway url congratulations to the participants that were able to solve this